happening right now. A woman who told police that she was kidnapped, raped and ordered to dismember a body inside of a Palm City home is testifying in court against her alleged attacker. The story is so disturbing. CBS 8's Kelly Hessedal joins us live from the South Bay Courthouse with the latest from that courtroom. Kelly. Yeah, and even before this woman sat down in the courtroom, as she was shaking, she was crying. She appeared to be very scared. Now, she was brought into the courtroom wearing a jailhouse jumpsuit as she is currently being held at the Las Colinas Jail on an unrelated theft charge. But take a look at what we saw inside the courtroom today. Pretty scared, right? Now. No. 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 And then. I don't want to remember this thing. And she was very emotional. Uh, she discussed her background. She testified she has six children. She has grandchildren. She said she's a former realtor, a stay at home mom. She also said she is a drug user. She says she started smoking marijuana, then started using crystal meth. Uh, she talked about being homeless at one point. She testified she steals to make money. Uh, she was also talking about being in an abusive relationship with a man who beat her so badly. She ended up in the hospital on three different occasions last year. Now, the defendant, 44-year-old Rafael Banda, he sat listening to her testimony. He was arrested in March, accused of kidnapping her, raping her, and ordering her to dismember the body of a woman that police say was found inside his home. The circumstances of that woman's death have not yet been revealed. Uh, the alleged victim also grew emotional as she was shown photos of Bonda's home where investigators say she was held captive. Do you, you see this shed in the corner here? Yeah. Do you remember seeing that at all? Yeah. I think it's where it escaped from. You see there's a ladder over there? Yeah. Did you eventually escape out of a ladder? Yeah. But I don't remember the ladder being that big. Does and so she continues testifying at this hour. That area. Uh, when I left, we had not gotten to the point of the actual incident, uh, but her testimony is expected to continue into tomorrow. Now, I should point out that her testimony is not part of Bonda's preliminary hearing. This is part of something called a conditional exam, where prosecutors order a witness's testimony be taken even before heading to trial because there's fear that that witness could flee the country or could be in danger. So back out here live, these, this alleged victim has ties to Mexico. Prosecutors say after all of this ha had happened, uh, she became suicidal. So they felt it very important to get her testimony on record as soon as possible.